Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to record monthly loan payment with principal and interest expense. So let's assume you bought a car for 45000 and you paid 5000 down and the loan is for three years. The loan amount is 40000 and you're making $1,200 monthly payment and the principal portion is 1100 let's say and interest is uh let's say 100 okay so let's see how to handle this in quickbooks okay first of all you need a couple of accounts right so you go to chart of accounts so you need the uh, fixed asset uh, account i already done it here for vehicle right here the vehicle so this is how it's set up the category type is fixed assets and underneath is vehicles and then vehicles uh, exactly like that one I'm going to copy and paste the vehicles save and close right okay and then you need a liability account so this would be uh, I already done it here the loan finance company is A1 finance and uh, it's set up this way category type long term liabilities Notes payable is uh, a detailed type is other long uh, long term liabilities, and the name is your name of your finance company, and the difference between long term and other current liabilities. Is long term is basically if it's over 12 months, it's long term. If it's 12 months, then it's uh, other current liabilities. That's simple definition. Okay, so then you need uh, uh, interest interest expense one. So interest. Right here we go. Well, here's one interest expense uh, account. All right, so category type is expense, and uh, details type is interest paid, and and then it's this uh, name of the account is interest expense. Okay, so I'm gonna go to uh, plus sign and write a check for five thousand. That's a down payment, let's say, right? Okay, so down payment is uh, five thousand. So, so when I write a check for five thousand, uh, I'm gonna record uh, fixed asset for the vehicle and also so forty thousand dollars as loan balance. We can do uh, from this uh, check entry in here. So the first one you want to do is vehicles. Vehicles is right here. Original cost. I also have depreciation, the accumulated depreciation. Original cost. Uh, 45,000 so that's the uh, amount you pay for the vehicle and now you want to uh, A1 finance which is your long term liabilities account and it will be negative 45, $40,000 dollars. so that, that's where you get $5,000 as your down payment right okay so save and new okay so now let's say you're going to write a check for monthly monthly payment of 1200 okay so now the first thing you want to do is for the principal portion you select that finance a1 finance or long term and so it's eleven hundred dollars and then you want to select uh, second account uh, you want to select uh, interest interest uh, expense account right so it's hundred dollars okay you're, you're gonna save it and uh, so you want to save it and done. Okay, so it's done basically. And if you are not uh, connected to your, to your bank account, if you're just doing manual uh, entry, you know, entering uh, checks in here, uh, then you are done. So just in case you are using uh, Quick Connect, I mean Bank Connect, uh, connecting your account to the bank, then you go, you come here, bank. And let's say this is the uh, uh, monthly payment you made on 731, okay? It's $1,200. Although you don't see mats in here, like green sign mats. Uh, so let's say this is the one. Normally you should see, you know, green sign mats like that. So let's say on this one, uh, you don't want to add this one, adding this, it will, it will just duplicate it. So come here and let's say you want to find mats and $1,200 right here. Just check that one right twelve hundred dollars and then save it now it's gone so it's in quickbooks as match now see as match so that's it and let's say your twelve hundred dollars monthly payment is 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 
fixed, you know, uh, and it's always $1,100 uh, uh, principal portion. So this is like a, you know, this is, let's say this is for August payment. Right, and now let's say this is the principal portion, and let's say this is of course the uh, interest, right? And if it's a uh, fixed amount, you know, every month is eleven hundred. You can set up recurring too, you know, if you want, make recurring, and uh, so start with next month because you already done one, so August thirty first, and. Uh, so it will end after 35 times like this okay and like this so you can write the check number in here if you want uh, and just save this let's say different no num name in here because I already have one like that one save new one okay so it's done so now, where do you see that recording thing? You come here, and recording is right here. So it's right here, A1 Finance 1. This is the one you did, see, 1200. I already did one last time, so you can delete that one. Like this, so every month, you will see $1,200, you know, uh, recording. Uh, it will just post to QuickBooks, but you'll have to make payment, right? Write a check or something. Uh, to your bank, through your bank, I mean. Okay, so that should do it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful to you. Thank you. Bye. You can visit our website. Uh, there's our website, newkeyviewer.com. Newkeyviewer.com. Uh, you know, we have all kinds of uh, QuickBook QVO tips. Thank you.